I'm your host, Edward Perry, and you're watching WebReviewTV.com, episode number seven. Today, we have a new microblogging website called Buzzable to review. Hey there, folks, welcome back. And today, we're going to check out a website called Buzzable.com. This site will add some important features to the microblogging world. One is the sense of community, and the other is uh, threads. Let's just check out the website and see what it's all about. As usual, we have Buzzable.com. I've already opened up the page. When you log in, it's going to look much like Twitter. You have your, your quick profile, you have the people following you, and though it would be nice if they added uh, the communities you're in, but but we'll get to that in a second. And again, you have your, your posts, though this is a little bit different than Twitter. Instead of from a person, it's saying, in the new website community, in reply to RSS, great URL compressing site. I did this about tiny URL. So, you know what, let's go ahead and look at what's in the, the new websites and see what they have. We have everyone or people I follow. So you can uh, break it down there. And you have, you know, Web Review TV who commented it here. And you have all the different RSS feeds that I imported from my show. Now, one of the neat things that Buzzable has is that you see how it's great compressing site? Well, I know it's talking about tiny URL, but somebody else might not. But if we go into the threaded view, all of a sudden we can see that, hey, that message was in relationship to the RSS feed of episode 5. It's pretty nice. Um, I think a lot of people are going to like that. And then it goes to people I follow, which I'm not really following anybody but myself. So it's not going to work as well. But the site is pretty nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and create a community just so you can see some of the options. Okay, we're going to create a new community and see what we have out there. So we're just going to create a test community. We're not actually going to submit this one. So but we can make it public or private. We can associate a picture with it. We can add a a header above the text box and we can import up to 3 RSS feeds by just typing in the URL. So, you know, if you have a web community that you want to create that is, say, off of your your podcast, like mine, and you want to also have another one, let's say Geek Brief TV or any uh, show from Revision 3, you pop them in here and you then create it. Then you can follow it. Um, anyone else can come along and follow it as well. So that's pretty much the website. You know, of course, you can go ahead and find a community or use a search bar to find a person. You know, there are a few um, communities in here already, yet they're still in a beta. But uh, there's a few people out here uh, already joining. As you can see, Buzzable has some additional features that Twitter does not have. I think the site is going to be much nicer than Twitter. Its ability to handle RSS feeds will be of interest to businesses, and the idea of community is going to organize topics rather than just have a bringed up of messages. Well, we'll see what the future has in store for this website. Hope you liked the review. If you want to get in contact with me, email me at comments at webreviewtv.com or look me up on Twitter as webreviewtv.com or Web Review TV, or even go on to Buzzable and find me again at Web Review TV. And have a happy tech day. <laughs>